Another anonymous, uh, Anon Imus. Um, I have seen the new SharePoint list form button, but it won't connect to the edit item link. What is the realistic use case for this new functionality? This, I know you do tons of Power yeah. Platform Power Pages, Jonathan. Right. So I do Power Pages, Power Apps, Power Automate. But this one's new. This one's in SharePoint specifically, and it's not using any of the Power Platform. Oh. So when you go to your SharePoint list and you look up across the menu, the, the ribbon at the top that's you know, new, edit, in grid view, automate, integrate, all of that, there's a new button called Forms. And let me verify that that's what it's called. Yep, just called Forms. It's in between export and design on this list. It's not confusing at all. Right. And what, so what when you click on it, you get a pop-up you can add multiple forms so be there you can add more than one form to this sharepoint list okay. so we'll come back to that in the form when you click on new form you get a form that looks a lot like microsoft forms so you can add your fields in you can move them up and down um, Wait, it looks like but it's not microsoft forms it, it looks similar to i'm just going to say it looks similar right. to because I did not also open forms to to compare them side by side. Yeah, OK. Um, but it has the ability to show and hide fields. It has themes. It has settings, um, which the settings are accept responses and a confirmation message. That's it. It's That's all the settings it. you get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then it also has a send form button. OK, so you can send a link. Now, the things to remember, it's only valid for people inside your organization. Inside. You, you cannot send the link outside of your organization. The, the use case, because it doesn't attach to your edit options, the true use case is think about drop-off forms. Think about a feedback form. You, you walk up to a feedback box it ha or, or a raffle. It has a little piece of paper. You fill out your information. You drop it in the box. You will never interact with that piece of paper again or that data. You don't know where that data goes. It gets sucked out through a vacuum to the other people who do all the data stuff and sell all your information to other people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, or something. I like mean, that. Right. Yeah, yeah. they they draw a name, they 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 send you a prize. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so think about that kind of a concept. Um, this form is going to probably end up on a page on a SharePoint page, maybe maybe in an email. I'm not sure yet. Um, I've only played with it en enough to answer the question. <laughs> Um, but think about that drop-off concept. Yeah. You put, put, and you can put multiple forms on the same page. So maybe the end users need to interact with these eight fields, but the directors or C-level people will need to fill out these other fields, or maybe uh, something like a training request. You you fill out the information for where you want to go on your training, and then when you come back, you've got a different form, completely separate form that goes to the same list for your trip review, you know, afterwards you or your your expense report afterwards, something like that. I'm making scenarios up as I think. Well, there's a very, we've had a variance of the question before of, I want to enable people to go and add a list item, add, you know, to it, to fill out a form for that, but then not see everything else, all everybody else's answers. That's one of the limitations of a lot of the, the other solutions. And yes. so it's restricted. Um, and so this still wouldn't enable you then to see your input and edit or change that. It would just, sure. once it's submitted, it's gone. Yes. And so in the old days, I would answer that first, the question you just asked, how do I do this with, with some weird permissioning? You know, you, you have the power app, you have the list, they have permission to the list, but they don't have permission to the site. You know, only stuff permission like to that. the view. It's that that was the right. part of the answer was change the view so you only see right. your items, for example. Yep. Um, so yeah. now they don't even need to know. Just like if you send out a Microsoft Forms, they don't even need to know if that information is going to SharePoint or Excel or the Ether, you know, or or Dataverse. They don't need to know that. They need to know here's a form with five fields. I put in the information and I clicked save. And you can do, and I love the fact that they they were smart enough to make it so you can add more than one form to the same SharePoint list. That is what I think is going to be the selling point for it. I've seen it being used for the field. 
where, as you said, they don't necessarily need to see the list and all of the everything in the back end. They could if they really, you know, had had wanted to at the point, but it was more that they didn't want their end user to be overwhelmed with all of the noise of going into the list and then messing up the list because they've got those sort of edit rights potentially over it and doing something to something else, even though you can change the rights. But, you know, they didn't really want to. So by having the form over the top of it, it allowed a very simplistic way um, I am getting a lot of, can I customise the look of the form? It's like, well, no, really, you've got a bit of a theme. There's four themes to choose from. There are some other colours there if you really want to, but it's really limited in its look. It's like, well, I don't like the way that it's kind of designed and the way that it's kind of coming up like you would if you were doing the edit, the, you know, edit a list item is what it looks like. So it's really, uh, you know, all it is is it's just putting that edit list item instead of it being in the little window, it's just long and um, and it's not as not I wouldn't say overly pretty, but it does get you by. And I can imagine that it might evolve over time. Yeah, give it time. It's brand new, yeah. like yeah. a month and a half. Yeah.